So, uh, this is our expert. Are you good today? Good. Good, great. So, are you ready for our Ballon d'Or 2021 episode? Yes. So, to the, the prizes in today, it's the Yashin Trophy, the Franz Beckenbauer Award, along with the Joseph Massopust Award, Kevin Kiggins Award, Teleprize. Oh. The Sir Alex Ferguson Award, the National Club, uh, uh, National Team uh, with Fans Award, all together with the Club with Fans Prize, and some extra prizes, for example, for the nicest goat in 2021, which is, well, you'll see soon. So, are you ready for the first one, for the Yashin Trophy? Yes! Yeah, and obviously we have the great Ballon d'Or, which is the best players on our world, on the, on the earth in 2021. So, uh, before I start, it's all, uh, decide, uh, it's all decided by votes, uh, which, will, which were available around January and December on Stropo. And as well, uh, uh, between uh, things, those, I, uh, me, me and the expert could give some points in addition to the votes. So, here we go. Yashin Trophy! Let's start! Hello, so, it's the Yashin Trophy. I've got here the famous envelope all together with my expert right here. So, uh, in reverse order, the top 10 of the players is opening the envelope. Already have it. On 10th place is Thibaut Courtois. On 9th place is uh, Jordan Pickford on eighth place is Taylor Navas on seventh place is Jan Oblak on sixth place is Alison on fourth place is Lukas Fabianski on fourth place is Edward Mendy on three place is Manuel Neuer. On second place is Gianluigi Di Donnarumma, and on the first place of uh, of the great Yashin Trophy is Wojciech Szczesny. Yes. yes. So see you in a few minutes in the great Franz Beckenbauer Award for the best defender in 2021. There are a lot of great players. Remember, we including only the top ten of each category. There are much more uh, uh, options to vote for. Uh, so, see you in a few seconds. So, hello. After the quick break is the Franz Beckenbauer Award. I've got here again the refilled envelope. The same envelope. So, the famous envelope I'm opening is right now. Is the 10 best defenders here shown. Uh, there were more in the classification. Uh, for the for this, you might visit the Franz Beckenbauer Award video or just look into the description of this video where it's all shown. Uh, but remember, th there were particular videos only for the Yashin Trophy, the, uh, the Franz Beckenbauer Award, and for the Joseph Massimpoust Award. But the rest is basically here. That way, we're doing it for making it shorter, for making it for already for you. Uh, and so let's start the in reverse order. Franz Beckenbauer Award. On 10th place is. Uh, Marquinhos. On 9th place is. Harry Maguire. On 8th place is. Diego Godin. On 7th place is. Giorgio Chiellini. On 6th place is. Marco Sorrento! On 5th place is Simon Kerr 
and Cesar Aspilicoleta, the two players here. A third place is Ruben Diaz. Now the podium. On the third place is Jordi Alba. On second place is Sergio Ramos. The winner of the Franz Beckenbauer Second Award is. I know, I've got the information in the envelope. And the winner is. Leonardo Bonucci! Yeah! See you uh, after the break, after a short break uh, on the next prize. On the Joseph Masopus Award for the best midfielder in 2021. Uh, and there are, there are a lot of great midfielders which are passing, which are sometimes scoring a goal or a penalty, a free kick. So it's all up to you. Uh, you voted already on Stropo. And now, see you in a few seconds. Hello, everybody. We're back after the break. It's the uh, Joseph Masopus Award right now. So. Uh, in reverse order, top 10. On 10th on, place is... On 10th place is... Sergio Busquets! Sergio Busquets, yeah. On 9th place is... Jens Strigelazen. On 8th place is... Granit Shakir. On 7th place is... Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. On 6th place is... On 5th place is Pedri. On 8th place is Mason Mount. On 3rd place is Jorginho. On 2nd place is Luka Modric. And the winner of the Joseph Master Priest Award is... Who is it? It's Ngolo Kante! Thank you very much. See you after the break under, uh, in the Kevin Keegan's award, which will be for the best winger and offensive midfielder. Uh, not him, not him. Uh, <laughs> in the world in 2021. Uh, so, hope you not get bored and see you in a few seconds. See yeah. you. Hello, after the break, in the uh, Kevin and Keegan's wall, it's the best wing uh, offensive midfielder in the world. So, in reverse order, this time only 8 places because there were only 10 uh, people nominated. And there are some equalities, which you'll know right now. On 8th place is Edin Azad, Cristiano Ronaldo and Angel Di Maria. 7th place is... On 6th place is Neymar. On 5th place is Mohamed Salah. On the 4th place is, surprisingly, Jack Grealish. On 3th place is Lorenzo Enchine. On 2nd place is Kevin De Bruyne. And on the first place is, obviously, Lionel Messi. Messi. Yeah, it's Lionel Messi again, uh, trim thing. So, uh, see you in a few minutes, uh, or in a few seconds, basically, in a few seconds, uh, in the next prize, which is obviously the Pelle prize for the best attacker in the world. Who can it be? It might be Mbappé, it might be Lewandowski, and it might be Erling Haaland. Or maybe somebody else, uh, like Dujan Vlahovic. But who will it be? You'll see in a few seconds in the Pella Prize. See you in a few minutes or seconds. Basically seconds. Hello, everybody. So today, uh, we're back. It's the Pella Prize. So, 10 best strikers in reverse order. 
thanks to your votes and our decisions here on 10th place. As I'm opening the envelope, I know already on 10th place is Larry Suarez, Ferran Torres, Lautaro Martinez, Alvaro Morata, Antoine Griezmann. On ninth place is Kylian Mbappé. On eighth place is Erling Haaland and Martin Bradwaite. On seventh place is Katzper Dolberg. On sixth place is Harry Kane. On ninth place is Patrick Schick. On fourth place is Federico Chiesa. On three place is Karim Benzema. On second place is Romare Lukaku. On the first place is of the ranking of the Pella Prize 2021 is Robert Lewandowski. <laughs> yes. So, in a second, the envelope is gonna be again refilled. And now it's gonna be the Sir Alex Ferguson Award. Not yet. It's the Raymond Coppa Prize for the young players up to 21 years old. Before I have to mention that one of the players is uh, out uh, of our classification. Uh, and yeah, so see you in a few seconds. Hello again after the break in uh, Ballon d'Or 2021. Now it's the Raymond Coppa prize for everybody which is younger than 21. One player was released from our classification, and uh, by the way, he was on place 10 as well, along with some players which you'll hear in a second. Uh, but he was released uh, by uh, uh, me and his. This isn't after some. Yeah, so after uh, a verification that he he's a bit uh, too bad for this classification here. So, the copper price on 10th place is Yosifa Maukoko, Jaden Sancho, and Jude Bellingham. On 9th place is Juan Philly. Indeed. On 8th place is Ferran Torres. On 7th place is. Buyako Saka. On sixth place is Racy James. On fifth place is Alfonso Davies. On fourth place is Phil Foden. On fifth place is Nuno Mendes. On second place is Pedri. And the winner mm. is. You can tell it, it's mm -hmm. Erling Haaland! Yes, indeed. We're recovering the third, but yeah. Uh, it's Erling Haaland, the winner of the uh, Raymond Copa Prize. So, in a second, we come back with our main information. Uh, so, it's gonna be, firstly, Sir Alex Ferguson Award, later the National Team Award and the Club with Fans Prize. Followed by uh, some Ballon d'Or and some special uh, awards. So, yeah, stay in a few seconds. See you. Hello again after the break. It's the Sir Alex Ferguson Award for the best uh, coach in not only in Great Britain, not only in the US, but in the whole world, on the whole earth, only in 2021. in Ballon d'Or of Manin Manin. So here it is. I'm opening the envelope and I'll start counting uh, with my expert in reverse order. So let's start. On 10th place is Luis Enrique. On 9th place is Hansi Flick. On 8th place is Fab Guardiola. On 7th place is Casper Hilmold. On 6th place is Frank Lampard and Roberto Mancini. 
two of them, two of them. On fifth place is Jurgen Klopp. On third place is... Andre Shevchenko. Andre Shevchenko is indeed it's third place. It's quite surprisingly Marek Papshun. Papshun. On second. On second place is Diego Simeone. Simeone. On the first place is together. Zimne. So, remember, it's uh, again 10 Enrique, 9 Flake, 8 Guardiola, 7 Hilmold, 6 Lampard and Mancini, 8 Klopp, 4 Sifchenko, 3 Paps, 2 Simeone, and 1 Zinedine Zidane. So, yeah, Zinedine Zidane, our winner of the Sir Alex Ferguson Award. He's not Indeed, once again, everybody, Zinedine Zidane. Zidane. And uh, right now, it's gonna be the uh, team awards, for example, for the national team. By my voters, uh, I had here only an extra vote uh, with my expert, uh, but mostly here. You decided, thanks to your votes. So see you in a few seconds. Hello again, it's the countries now. I've already packed it out, it out of the envelope. There are loads of countries with a vote. There are not really mad votes, but there were votes. And thanks to your votes, on, in reverse order, on 7th place is... Sorry, on 8th place is... <laughs> Brazil, Croatia, Czech Republic. On 7th place is... Switzerland. On sixth place is Italy and Denmark. On Denmark. fifth place is Argentina. Oh boy, I have in my mind now the song uh, Don't Cry For Me. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Uh, but like, wasn't bad. Number four, England. Number three. Ukraine! Ukraine, yeah. So, uh, it's got, it was the quarterfinals. Number two is... Netherlands. And number one, the winner is... Spain! Spain, 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 Spain! 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 Spain. Two in a... I heard Spain, yeah. Uh, in Spain. 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 So, see you in a few seconds. Hello, after the break, it's again. Now it's the Club with Fans Award with my expert here. Hello, 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 hello. hello, hello. hello. So, so, yeah, after the, after the another break, it, we're back with our best clubs and our most supported clubs. So, on seventh place is Atletico Madrid and Bayern Munchen. Indeed. On sixth place is Ajax Amsterdam. On, uh, on fourth place is West Ham United. On the fourth place is Lille OSC, Borussia Dortmund, and Liverpool FC. On fifth place is. Paris Saint Germain and Rakuf Chester Hoover. Yeah, I really like, really like this one. Rakuf Chester Hoover. So yeah, a uh, nice like song, theme song. So yeah, number two. Uh, again, I really like it. It's Sheriff Tiraspol. Sheriff Tiraspol, really great. Champions League god from the from Moldavia, from Moldavia Champions League. Wow. Now it's. Unfortunately, all uh, he lost. He lost with Braga on the one eight. Yeah. So, on place one is Chelsea London. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for uh, now. See you again in a few seconds.
Hello, Ballon d'Or now. The best yes. 10 places. Right here in those two envelopes. Here, here, hello. So, uh, I'm gonna tell you the name, but, but in between of them, we will have some special awards. So let's get started. Ballon d'Or on 10th place is... Karim Benzema. On 9th place is... John Summer and Henry. Now let's take a quick one. The nicest goal in 2021. Uh, it's Patrick Schick versus Scotland. 50 meter goal. During the Euro, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go. Continue. Continue. On A place. It's Giorgio Chiellini. Jack Grealish and Simon Kier. The same place is Georgina. Another uh, quick break right after number six, which is Yanri Donnarumma. And yeah, third play. Kasper Schmeichel, Simon Kier, Denmark and Finland fans. Congratulations. Now continue. In five plus is Leonardo Bonucci. On fourth place is Kevin De Bruyne. And the most surprisingly good club is Sheriff Tiraspol in Champions League. Now, everybody, third place. Here, third place. Um, three plus is David De Gea and Luka Modric. Yeah. And now a quick one. The most surprising uh, national team on the Euro was Denmark. Number two and number one now. Uh, Bartek, we are starting with number one or number two? Expert, dear expert. One or two? Which number now? One or two? Two's number. Mm. One, two? One. One, okay. You chose it. The winner of Ballon d'Or is... Robert... Lewandowski. And on second place is Lionel Messi. Messi. Yeah, it's Lionel Messi and Robert Lewandowski, the finalists. With Lewandowski this time the winner. He didn't win Ballon d'Or, but he won our Ballon d'Or, so he did win Ballon d'Or. Uh, according most to your votes, he got uh, more than half of the votes uh, uh, for Ballon d'Or. Uh, I've got here the results. So. Best and the last, our, our last to, uh, today's uh, award is the best YouTuber doing Ballon d'Or games and football. Is Men in Berlin. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the award. <laughs> it was not voting, there was no voting, it was chosen by me and the experts. <laughs> so yeah. See you. See you. See you, Santa. I'm not Santa, boy. We had it already. But again, see you. So, thank you for today. Thank you for Ballon d'Or. Thank you for watching this entertaining, hopefully entertaining episode. So, see you in the next video. I still don't know what will it be, but thank you for watching for today. And it's remember one, two, three, everybody. One, two, three. Robert Lewandowski, our winner. Congratulations. Let's go with uh, saying see you next time.